do-it-yourself dream with the ultimate DIY festival going on this weekend. Craft Lake City kicks off tomorrow and joining us to talk about it is director Angela Brown and Amy Redden who's one of the feature artists. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Craft Lake City. First of all, I love that name. Thank you. You know, we titled it Craft Lake City to really celebrate the local art here in Utah because you have to be a local artist to participate. Well, and there's so much talent right here. It's so true, and we just thought, what a better way to celebrate it than host a big do-it-yourself festival with all Utah artisans. Now, you brought some things that, that, that you'll be showing, and are you going to also be teaching people how to do this? I'm not. I just sell them. Okay. Um. <laughs> because I would be the one buying them. I wouldn't be doing it. Uh, but these are some of the things that you'll be offering? Yes. I, I make bags and little girls' clothes and hair accessories and tea towels, all sorts of things. Well, that, it's fantastic because for those of us who are not do, do it yourself first, mm -hmm. can you, I guess you get some ideas of things that you can do that are a little yeah. bit easier and you know, things that you can start from scratch. Exactly. Get some inspiration, you know, and really that's where it all starts is just being inspired and then kind of breaking it down and saying, you know what, if I took a little extra time to learn how to do that, I could do it myself. What kind of artists will you have there? You know, we're going to have a lot of people like Amy here that specialize in textiles. We're going to have paper artists that do screen printing, letter press we're going to have a craft food category so people Ooh. that actually make jellies or jams or small artisanal batches of French macaroons you know items like that and um, just anything that you can think of under the moniker craft I don't know if anyone can see your earrings at home but uh, those are the most beautiful <laughs> wood earrings I've oh, ever seen you. will they be there as well thank you you know we do have an, an ear um, jewelry artist who does make handmade jewelry wow. these are, are carved out of wood and we do have someone there that is making making something very similar Wow that's amazing so are you excited to, to talk to a lot of different people, maybe get some new ideas as well? Yes, I, I participated with Craft Lake City all five years that they've done it, and it's, it's, I look forward to it all year. It's my favorite event that I do, and it's fun to interact with the, my customers and, and other artists. I just love it. Well, I, I'm sure it helps you build your base, too, yeah. because you're meeting new people mm -hmm. all the time. Now, let's talk about how many um, artists will be there, and what, what are the times and, and, sure. and days? that it's sure. available. So there's going to be over 200 all wow. local artisans um, and it goes Friday. This is the first year that we've gone two days. So we're doing a Friday from 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. and then a Saturday high noon until 10 p.m. And where will it be? It's going to be downtown at the Gallivan Center and it's free. There's no admission. Ooh. There's a kids area. We have a science and technology building with uh, projects for kids of all ages. And will, will people like me who I, I'm not crafty at all, will, will we be able to kind of get some ideas? Oh, maybe yeah, get some start ideas. Start at step one. Yes, and we do have some some, some demonstrations happening and some kind of interactive exhibits okay. as well. So yeah, so even if you're not feeling crafty yet, it's a, definitely a chance to get inspired and walk away and you know um, with some great items and hopefully some projects to take home and try yourself. All right. Well, thank you so much, both of you, for being here. Yeah. I, I love your bags and your other textiles. They're oh, just gorgeous. You.